In this video, we will discuss Section C of Sample Question Paper, Class 10, Year 2024-25, Mathematics Standard, Code Number 041. Section C consists of six questions of three marks each. That means 18 marks in all if solved correctly. Hello friends, welcome to channel Number Collage. This channel is dedicated to videos on a wide range of mathematical concepts and problems related to them, ranging from high school math to engineering math. Effort has been made to explain the concepts through basic mathematical ideas in a simple English. Hope you will like my effort. Thank you. T, E, F are midpoints of respective sides of triangle ABC. We have to prove triangle FBD similar triangle DEF and triangle DEF similar triangle ABC. First, we will give numbers to some relevant angles which we are going to use by midpoint theorem FE parallel BD and FB parallel ED that makes quadrilateral FBDE a parallelogram. In triangle FBD and triangle DEF, angle 2 equals angle 5. Opposite angles of parallelogram which are equal. Angle 6 equals angle 7. Interior alternate angles from which triangle FBD becomes similar triangle DEF by AA similarity criteria or AA test. So the first part is proved in triangle DEF and triangle ABC, angle 4 equals angle 1. Quadrilateral AEDF is parallelogram and opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. Angle 5 equals angle 2 because quadrilateral FBDE is also a parallelogram. So this proves triangle DEF is similar triangle ABC again by AA similarity criteria or AA test. So second part is also proved. This figure in red is drawn according to the things given in sub question B in which we have to prove that PD and AD drawn from A on BC bisects PQ. That means we have to prove PR equals RQ. Proof in triangle APR and triangle ABD angle 1 equals angle 2 and angle 3 equals angle 4 corresponding angles which implies triangle APR similar triangle ABD by AA test. So we can write AR upon AD equals PR upon BD CPST as for similar. Similarly we can prove that triangle AQR similar triangle ACD again by AA test and hence AR upon AD equals QR upon CD CPST as for similarity. From this one and this two, we can write PR upon BD equals QR upon CD. Since AD is median, PD equals CD. That implies PR equals QR, which is what we have to prove here. PR equals QR. We will start from the question. Find the numbers. Let the numbers be X and Y. From the first condition, sum of numbers is 18. We write x plus y equals 18, y equals 18 minus x. We name this one. According to second condition, sum of their reciprocals is 9 upon 40. We write 1 upon x plus 1 upon y equals 9 upon 40. We replace this y by 18 minus x. So 1 upon x plus 1 upon 18 minus x equals 9 upon 40. 18 minus x plus x upon 18x minus x square equals 9 upon 40. x minus x is 0. By cross multiplication, 162x minus 9x square equals 720. Changing the signs, 9x square minus 162x plus 720 equals 0. Dividing throughout by 9, x square minus 18x plus 80 equals 0. Factorizing, x minus 10 into x minus 8 equals 0 which is x equals 10 
and x equals 8. So the required numbers are 10 and 8. Alpha and beta are the zeros of polynomial 6x square minus 5x plus 1. So we have alpha plus beta equals minus b upon a minus of this minus 5 upon this a 6 which is 5 upon 6. Alpha beta is c upon a which is this one upon a which is 6. We have to find the quadratic polynomial whose zeros are alpha square and beta square. Now alpha plus beta whole square is alpha square plus beta square plus 2 alpha beta. Therefore alpha square plus beta square is putting the values this 5 upon 6 whole square minus 2 into this 1 upon 6. 25 upon 36 minus 1 upon 3 which is 25 minus 12 upon 36 13 upon 36 and alpha square beta square will be 1 upon 6 square 1 upon 36 now the required quadratic polynomial will be x square minus sum of zeros that is alpha square plus beta square into x plus product of zeros alpha square beta square which is x square minus this 13 upon 36 x plus this 1 upon 36 multiplying by 36 36 x square minus 13 x plus 1 is the required quadratic polynomial. We are given cos theta plus sin theta equals 1 and we have to prove that cos theta minus sin theta is plus minus 1. What we do is we will write cos theta plus sin theta whole square plus cos theta minus sin theta whole square. That will be cos square theta plus sin square theta plus 2 cos theta sin theta plus again cos square theta plus sin square theta minus 2 cos theta sin theta. 2 cos theta sin theta minus 2 cos theta sin theta is 0 and we get 2 times cos square theta plus sin square theta which is 2 into 1 but this cos theta plus sin theta is 1 so we get 1 square plus cos theta minus sin theta whole square equals this 2 cos theta minus sin theta whole square is 2 minus 1 1 that gives cos theta minus sin theta equals plus minus 1 hence proved minute hand of a wall clock is 18 centimeter long which means radius of circle is 18 centimeter. We have to find the area of the face of the clock described by the minute hand in 35 minutes. In 5 minute the minute hand describes 30 degrees so in 35 minutes it will describe 210 degrees which we name theta. We have to find area of sector which is theta upon 360 that is 210 upon 360 multiplied by pi r square that is 22 upon 7 multiplied by 18 multiplied by 18 cancelling this 0 7 ones are 7 threes are 21 18 ones are 18 twos are 36 and 2 ones are 2 nines are 18 so the area described by the minute hand in 35 minutes will be 27 multiplied by 22 which is 594 cm square. Angle AOB is 60 degrees. This one OA is 14 centimeter which is radius R. We have to find area of minor segment. This area. Now area of minor segment is area of sector minus area of triangle OAB. Area of sector is theta upon 360 into pi R square minus area of triangle OAB. Since angle AOB is 60 and OA equals OB which is 14 centimeter, triangle OAB is an equilateral triangle because this angle will be 60 and this angle will be 62. So this is an equilateral triangle whose area is root 3 upon 4 side square which will be R square which is R square 14 square into 60 upon 360 into 22 upon 7 minus 1.73 upon 4 196 into 
cancelling this zero, six ones are six six are two threes are two ones are two ones are. So this is eleven upon twenty one minus one point seventy three upon four equals one ninety six into zero point zero nine one three. So that gives area of minor segment to be seventeen point eighty nine centimeter square. We will use contradiction method to prove that root three is an irrational number. We will start by assuming that root three is a rational number a upon b, where a and b are co-primes, which means they do not have any common factors between them, and b not equal to zero. This gives a equals root three b squaring a square equals three b square. According to theorem, if three divides a square then 3 divides a also in other words 3 is a factor of a we will name this 1 from 1 we can write a equals 3c where c is another integer squaring a square equals 9c square but from this statement 2 a square is 3b square So three b square equals nine c square. Dividing by three, b square is three c square. According to the same theorem, once again, if three divides b square, then three divides b also, which means three is a factor of b. We name this three. Statements one and three contradicts the fact that a and b are co-primes. So our assumption that root three is rational number. Is wrong, and by contradiction method, this proves root three is an irrational number. Hence, proved. Friends, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe this channel. See you in the next video. Until then, keep watching Number College. Thank you.